Greetings and salutations, brothers and sisters. Uh, here's your weekly update, some announcements for you. First of all, Easter Sunday. We're hoping to get some pictures and videos from some of you for Easter Sunday. Uh, we are looking for photos and videos highlighting a sign of life. It could be you reading a scripture passage or singing a song, a short skit, a nature image, anything. But we do ask that you please act soon because the deadline is next Monday, April 6th. And also make sure that your video clips are no longer than 30 seconds. So get those phones and iPads out and take some photos and videos and then upload them to the Avon Dropbox account and the link will be below. Second announcement, Good Friday Communion service. We are planning on streaming a short Good Friday service and the focus of this service will be celebrating communion together, each in our own homes, of course. Now you may not have bread and wine or grape juice in your home and please don't go out to the grocery store just to get some bread or grape juice or wine. You don't need grape juice and bread. These are just symbols. So just use what you have. If what you have is orange juice and biscuits or coffee and biscotti or water and crackers, that will work fine. The point is for us to come together as a community celebrating the death and resurrection of Jesus and to thank God for the unity and new life that we have in the spirit of Christ. So have your elements ready for next Friday at 10 a.m. Third, I want to encourage you to keep praying for one another and especially for Nick Colwood and Paul Good, Elva Yutzi, Gerald Plett, and Louise Schroeder at this time. And I also want to encourage you to, to try this discipline of community. Try making one phone call a week to someone in our directory who is not connected to the Avon community through the internet, through email and Facebook. It would mean a lot to them, just a short phone call or even a card to let them know you're thinking about them. It's important that we all experience that, that wonderful feeling of, I matter, I matter to someone. And also, if you're doing a, a grocery run, consider, prayerfully consider, checking in with Tina to see if there is anyone who is a part of our community and is not able to get out to a grocery store and could use assistance in getting a few items they need. And finally, I want to extend you a blessing from God. This is uh, an adapted blessing from a book called Come Away, My Beloved by Francis J. Roberts. My child, I will help you. I am nearer to you than your breath. I am more real to you than all your desires or fears. I come to forgive. I come to restore. I come to bless and to heal. I come to be your light. In my presence there is no darkness. Surely if I can brighten all of eternity, I have ample supply to flood your heart, mind, and body with my mighty power, my light, my love, my deep joy, and my energizing spirit. My spirit is a life-giving spirit. Have you not read that the same spirit that raised the body of Jesus from the dead dwells in you? You need not depend upon your own limited strength and endurance. I am with you. Trust me. Rest assured. In me you have everything you need and more.